Hi, welcome to the Atco blog on YouTube. Today we're going to take a look at how we can add a navigation controller to a tab uh, in Xcode 4. This has changed a little bit from Xcode 3 to Xcode 4, so it tripped me up at first on how to do this, and I've gotten a couple comments on the blog about how to do this as well. So I'm just going to create a very short tutorial here showing us how to do it, and then we can refer to this whenever we need to. So I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to create a tab bar application. I'm just going to name it test and add it to source control. And here we go. Let me shrink the window so you can see everything. Now remember in Xcode 3, we would select our main window nib file, and then you would select the tab bar controller, and then in the attributes inspector you would be able to change one of the views to use a navigation controller. Well that is not available here in Xcode 4. Instead what you need to do is actually add a navigation controller to the tab bar down here. So let's say that our first tab, this first view controller tab, we want that to use a navigation controller. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to our library find a navigation controller and we're just going to drag that onto the tab bar down here. And then we're going to delete this first tab and we're going to set up this new one to take the place of that first tab. So I'll just name it first, I'll select it over here, make it use the first view nib file and in the identity inspector we'll tell it to use the first view controller. And really, it's just as easy as that. So now, when we run this, our first tab will have a navigation controller at our disposal that we can use. Just like that, you see it up here. We haven't added any buttons or anything to it yet, so it's pretty plain, but you'll see that our second tab does not have that, and our first one does. So, that's how you add a navigation controller to a tab in Xcode 4. I hope you found this helpful, and again, I know I'll be referring to this when anyone else asks a question. Um, again, it's pretty easy once you see how it's done. It's just different than Xcode 3 handled it. That's all. Uh, as always, please come visit me at theappcodeblog.com to see lots of tutorials on other topics. And until next time, have a great day.